Happy Friday afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It's that time of the afternoon when we give you an update on what's happening in the tropics. Things have been pretty quiet this week across the Atlantic. Of course, we've got some action in the eastern Pacific. And of course, we did have that big upgrade to what we're expecting with the remainder of our hurricane season yesterday from Colorado State University. So let's get right to it. Let's talk about what's happening out in the Atlantic. And just as we've been dealing with for the earlier portions of this week, it looks like tropical cyclone formation is not expected for any portion of the Atlantic over the next seven days. In fact, for the Gulf of Mexico and for the Caribbean, things are expected to be rather quiet for the next week or so. That is a good thing. Of course, we are still in what is historically the quieter portion of hurricane season, but overall we do still have a risk for a tropical system developing this time of the year. Although August and September, we usually have a lot more systems. In fact, we usually have about two thirds of our systems developing between August and September. So all is quiet for the Atlantic, for the Gulf, for the Caribbean. There are a few showers and storms as you can see out there, but nothing that the Hurricane Center is monitoring for potential tropical cyclone development. So let's talk about the Eastern Pacific. We have not one, but two systems here in the red. That means a high chance for formation of a tropical depression, a tropical storm, and possibly even a hurricane. We've got one system to the south of Puerto Vallarta. It's now up to a 90% chance for development. It's expected to develop into a tropical depression or maybe even a tropical storm by this weekend, likely Saturday or Sunday. At this point, it is a broad area of low pressure underneath that red X, but it is kind of elongated. So we're kind of waiting for it to become more well-defined and symmetrical, and that would indicate that it is strengthening. It is pushing off to the west northwest, so away from the western Mexican coast and away from the US, so that is good news. As far as the system to the east and southeast of that, one, it has a high shot for development at least over the next week, but a low chance, a 20% chance for development over the next two days, but an 80% shot for development over the next seven days. It is swirling off to the south of the southern Mexican coast, and it is moving off to the west northwest as well, away from Mexico and the U.S., so good news there, but both systems are being monitored because they could become a tropical depression or a tropical storm over the weekend. Let's switch back over to to the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean and Western Atlantic and we're looking at the Saharan dust out there. We got a little dust getting close to Cuba and Florida and that dust actually helps to dry that air out in the mid to upper levels and that will usually mean that will hinder development of these tropical systems. We also have a good bit of that dust blowing off of the western coast of Africa back into the central Atlantic as well. So that is one of the reasons why we really haven't had much action out in the Atlantic for the last several days. But we are going to have the shot for more to develop because as we start to get rid of some of that dust, we've got unusually warm waters across much of the Atlantic soaring well into the 80s. These sea surface temps about four to six degrees above average, especially for the central and eastern portions of the Atlantic. So when you have water that warm, if you get any kind of system to try to get going, that's just gonna give it fuel to strengthen even more rapidly. You can see these yellow areas here across the central and eastern portions of the Atlantic indicating the sea surface temps or those water temps about four to six degrees above average. So we've got unusually warm water in the Atlantic near record warm levels. For that reason, Colorado State University just yesterday upgraded the 2023 hurricane season outlook, increasing that number of named storms, hurricanes, and major hurricanes. So now we're expecting 18 named storms for the rest of the season, nine hurricanes and four major hurricanes. We've already had the four named storms, so that means we would be expecting about 14 additional named storms. So we've got the sea surface temps in the Atlantic, unusually warm. We've got an El Nino pattern that hasn't quite gotten really strong yet. We're not sure exactly how strong it's going to get. That would usually hinder hurricane development in the Atlantic, but since it's not really well established and because the waters are so warm, it looks like we could end up with an above normal hurricane season. Average hurricane season would only have 14 named storms, seven hurricanes and three major hurricanes. So not great news. We don't want an above average season, but of course we are here tracking it daily and keeping you updated in case any 
anything, forms, fires up, and tries to head our way. That's not happening now. But if we do get something to develop in the Atlantic Basin, the next name on that list would be Don. Then we would have Emily, Franklin, then Gert. And of course, we have not even gotten close to the peak of hurricane season, which is usually right around September 10th. And that's usually when we have the most active period of our hurricane season. So we still got to get through the rest of July, then August and September will likely start to get more active before things start to slowly calm down, hopefully as we get closer to the end of hurricane season at the end of November. But until then, we'll be giving you updates daily. Make sure to download our Fox 26 weather app to get the latest tropical weather forecast cones. Of course, you can check out our follow me feature and get any hurricane or tropical storm alerts that we may have in the future. No hurricanes or tropical storms out there now, but you know that can quickly change. So just make sure you have our Fox 26 app downloaded on your phone so you can have the latest tropical weather and the latest local weather as well. Enjoy the rest of your Friday and have a great weekend. I'm Fox 26 Meteorologist Ramesha Shade.